Table container can be placed into the editor area without the need to put it in the collection container. It allows building tables where data can be dynamically grabbed and the table is increased accordingly. By default, the table has five columns. It consists of the table header where static column names can be adjusted and the dynamic row where the fields can be bound. The cells of the dynamic row contain the dynamic text elements, which can be mapped or replaced with the other dynamic elements. Additionally, the cells of the dynamic table can be selected and duplicated to the left and right or deleted. The bubble panel becomes available after selecting the dynamic table in the editor. It allows Moving up to the element where the dynamic table is nested in, dragging the element over the editor, duplicating the element, deleting the element. Table container can be filtered by selecting the field within the current collection container and assigning a required filter. Table container can be sorted by selecting the field within the current collection container and assigning a required filter. The sorting rules are applied gradually and every next rule will work within the previously applied rule. It's possible to select the elements which should be displayed via the table container. There are two settings. To select the starting element which means choosing the serial number of the element. From now on, this element will always come first when the data grabbing happens. To select total quantity of the elements which should be displayed in the report.